Unit Ten. Space travel. Page forty-six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Wow! Is that you in this photo, the youngest astronaut in the world doing a spacewalk? <laughs> yeah, it was in a museum in Sweden. You look so excited. Well, that trip made me crazy about space. Before I turned ten, I'd already collected lots of books about the universe. I'd learnt about the planets, the stars, satellites, rockets, and stuff. You know, last year I visited an astronomy museum, and I touched a meteorite. A meteorite? What was it like? Honestly, it wasn't as impressive as I'd expected. It was just like an ordinary piece of rock. But perhaps it was from Mars. Think of that. Maybe. Do you think there could be life on Mars? It's possibly habitable. It once had an ocean. Who knows? In twenty years, we might be flying there on a discovery mission. Ah, <laughs> but we'd need to do some serious training first. They say you practice by scuba diving in a flight suit. That's right. And you also have to experience microgravity on a parabolic flight. What's that? The plane flies at high altitude, then it climbs sharply for a few seconds and ascends sharply, a bit like a roller coaster. The people inside the plane start to float. I'd love to do that. Sounds a bit scary, but let's take a look at your rock collection. There may be something interesting here. Yes, perhaps a meteorite that landed on Earth from the moon. Unit Ten, Page Fifty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity Five. Practice saying the statements and short dialogues. Then listen to the recording and check your pronunciation. One. Wow, your backpack is heavy. Well, I didn't put much in it. Just two T-shirts, one pair of jeans, a telescope, and my rock collection. Two. On his farm, his father used to have five horses, four cows, four hens, and one cat. Three. What do you think the universe includes? I think it includes stars, planets, and galaxies. Four. Which of the following do you think can follow the verb launch to form a phrase? I think they are launch a satellite, launch a rocket, and launch a spacecraft. Five. Can you see anything from there? Yes, I can see a small red house, a garden, a bicycle, a lake, and a boat. Unit ten, page fifty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Look at the pictures and discuss with your partner what is happening in them. Can you guess what the recording is about? Now listen and check. Dreaming of a holiday, sunbathing on Mars, or playing some sports at a lunar resort and spa. While it may take decades for these ideas to come true, space tourism. Which is space travel for recreational, leisure, or business purposes is becoming more realistic. Since 2001, the American company Space Adventures has flown tourists to the International Space Station to live and work alongside professional astronauts for up to 10 days. 
The company now offers a service called Spacewalk, where clients can leave the ISS and float above the Earth. It also plans to launch by 2018 its circumlunar mission, which takes clients to within 100 kilometers of the Moon's surface. Virgin Galactic, the world's first space line, has been preparing to launch its first manned space flight. By 2015, almost 700 people from more than 50 different countries have paid deposits at the price of $250,000 per ticket. The possibility of travelling into space sounds wonderful, but it has been criticised as well. People say it's costly, dangerous and unsustainable since its growth could cause environmental problems including speeding up global warming. Unit 10 Page 55 Skills 2 Listening Activity 2 Listen again, then answer the questions with no more than three words. Dreaming of a holiday sunbathing on Mars or playing some sports at a lunar resort and spa? While it may take decades for these ideas to come true, space tourism, which is space travel for recreational, leisure or business purposes, is becoming more realistic. Since 2001, the American company Space Adventures has flown tourists to the International Space Station to live and work alongside professional astronauts for up to 10 days. The company now offers a service called Spacewalk, where clients can leave the ISS and float above the Earth. It also plans to launch by 2018 its circumlunar mission, which takes clients to within 100 kilometers of the Moon's surface. Virgin Galactic, the world's first space line, has been preparing to launch its first manned space flight. By 2015, almost 700 people from more than 50 different countries have paid deposits at the price of $250,000 per ticket. The possibility of travelling into space sounds wonderful, but it has been criticised as well. People say it's costly, dangerous and unsustainable since its growth could cause environmental problems including speeding up global warming. Unit 10 Page 55 Skills 2 Listening Activity 3 Match the numbers to their references. Then listen and check your answers. Dreaming of a holiday sunbathing on Mars or playing some sports at a lunar resort and spa? While it may take decades for these ideas to come true, space tourism which is space travel for recreational, leisure or business purposes, is becoming more realistic. Since 2001, the American company Space Adventures has flown tourists to the International Space Station to live and work alongside professional astronauts for up to 10 days. The company now offers a service called Spacewalk, where clients can leave the ISS and float above the Earth. It also plans to launch by 2018 its circumlunar mission, which takes clients to within 100 kilometers of the Moon's surface. Virgin Galactic, the world's first space line, has been preparing to launch its first manned space flight. By 2015, almost 700 people from more than 50 different countries have paid deposits at the price of $250,000 Per ticket. The possibility of travelling into space sounds wonderful, but it has been criticised as well. People say it's costly, dangerous and unsustainable since its growth could cause environmental problems including speeding up global warming.